So, Francesco, what's your uh, opinion about the process of uh, institutionalization of PR and corporate communication? But today I think that um, companies, first of all, they, they don't really make a difference between uh, corporate communication and PR. I think the, they're dealing with uh, complex uh, issues that basically are around uh, two different poles uh, that uh, uh, constitute sometimes a paradox on one side uh, to maintain, to protect uh, what the company is about its core values in particular, its culture, and the other side respond to the solicitation that comes from uh, the outside world, uh, its stakeholders, but also its internal stakeholders. And um, this tension between these two poles, uh, I think, is the main focus today of corporate communication and public relations um, to try to uh, uh, and, and to solve this, this tension in order to have a uh, um, fruitful conversation. In a certain way, in order to have fruitful conversation, you need to know who you are. And uh, some people would call that, you know, define your corporate brand or define your corporate identity. Uh, and uh, whatever you call it, uh, it's about who you are. And uh, you cannot have a good conversation if you don't know what you mm. are. And this, in your opinion, has to do with uh, the institutionalization process. But uh, if you mean by institutionalization uh, the fact of uh, uh, being recognized uh, inside the organization. Well, you tell me what you mean with institutionalization. That's but to me, institutionalization uh, means. Uh, you know, finding or acknowledging uh, a relevant uh, position within the organization in terms of being able to contribute to the strategy of the organization uh, and not just being there uh, at the beginning or at the end of the process of running an organization. So uh, it's why <coughs> the two topics I just uh, raised before at the very heart of institutional of institutionalization of the of the of corporate communication uh, because uh, uh, if you really participate in the development of the strategy uh, you are asked all the time every day you know who are who you are and where you want to go yeah. and uh, from your point of view uh, this process is on in the large corporation in Switzerland or in oh yeah European countries yeah there is no doubts about it and uh, uh, there are many, many examples uh, of uh, uh, organization that in a certain way got lost and there are so many examples at the beginning of uh, uh, this new millennium uh, got lost and even disappeared very rapidly and uh, if you go back and see what happened is that uh, they lost <laughs> contact with who they were uh, and big multinational, of course, will not make any reference to specific ones, but uh, uh, there are successful stories of recent successful stories of multinationals who specifically understood that they got they lost this contact to, with what they were, you know, and. Uh, but there are also. Uh, positive examples. Yeah, the, I, I'm referring to these ones, the okay. positive ones. Uh, okay. Okay. For instance, uh, uh, yeah. The positive one you can mention then. Can't you? Yes and no, because there was a part that was negative, you know, oh, I see. Uh, and there was there were CEOs, you know, that were in the negative phase when they got <laughs> lost, and then a, a, a new CEO came in. And, uh, and 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 help them, you know, get in touch with the roots. Okay. Uh, and so, I oh, prefer sorry. just to not to mention. But to mention there them. are finally. There are. But maybe when you will uh, come to Milano and uh, you can mention uh, these examples. Of course, maybe. if the camera would not be around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much.